Good morning children. As we know that health and fitness play an important role in our overall well-being. So, we should try for a good balance between mind, body and soul. Regular exercise or playing games can make our body active and an active body can metabolize well and keep us in good shape. Now children you will ask me what does metabolize well means? It means whatever food you have eaten is digested, its nutrients are absorbed and used properly for doing various activities. This entire process is called as metabolism. Yoga has a lot of health and fitness benefits such as flexibility, it burns calories, it increases blood flow, it boosts our immunity and there are many more other health benefits. 21st June is celebrated as Yoga Day all over the world. So children, based on the same concept, today we are going to study chapter 8, Looking After Our Body. In this chapter, we all will understand the different ways to keep our body healthy, various precautions to be observed to be safe, the basic idea of first aid. So let's start the chapter. Looking after our body. We want to live a happy life. We want to be healthy and fit to do our work and enjoy life. To keep our body and surroundings healthy, proper care is needed. We must learn some good habits and follow them regularly. We can be healthy and enjoy our life by following the simple routine of eating healthy, exercising, maintaining hygiene and taking enough rest. So children, just by adopting these given simple habits in our daily routine, we can be healthy and enjoy our life to the fullest. Let's move on to food. We need healthy food to sustain ourselves. Food that provides us with every nutrient and helps us to grow and fight diseases is termed as healthy or balanced food. Food should be eaten at regular intervals. Special emphasis should be laid on fresh fruits and vegetables. Milk is an important food for children. You should drink it twice a day. Junk food should be avoided as it is not good for health. So children, a platter or you can say a plate having the right amount of energy giving food, bodybuilding food and protective food is termed as a balanced diet as it provides all the nutrients which are required by our body. Milk is called as a complete food as it gives us energy, it helps us to grow and also develops our immunity. So children, you should definitely drink it twice a day. Junk food like toffees, chocolates, chips should be completely removed from our life as they do not provide any nutrition but definitely create many health problems in our body as they contain immense amount of sugar which can be a cause of tooth decay and preservative chemicals. Let's move on to exercise. Regular exercise keeps us fit and healthy. Playing outdoors is a good exercise and makes our body strong. Dancing, cycling, doing yoga, swimming all are good for keeping our body fit and active. So children, you all must be going outside in the evening to play. It is very important for our physical as well as mental well-being. Playing not only increases blood flow in all parts of our body, we also feel very happy and excited while doing the same. So, play time should always be included in your daily routine. Let's move on to rest. After a day's work, we feel tired. Proper rest relaxes our body. Sleeping at night for at least 6 to 8 hours give us enough energy to work again. So, after taking enough rest, our body is recharged and ready again for doing any kind of task. 6 to 8 hours of sleep is very important for a healthy body and healthy mind. Let's move on to cleanliness. We must keep our body clean. There are many invisible enemies called germs which can make us sick. They can cause diseases if we do not fight them. Healthy food, plenty of exercise, proper rest and clean habits along with clean environment help the body to remain healthy and fit. So children, along with having healthy diet and exercise, maintaining cleanliness is also very very important. Brushing your teeth twice a day, washing hands before and after the meals, regular bathing, Trimming your nails all are part of personal hygiene. They should be followed regularly. Let's move on to safety. How to be safe at home? 
school playground and the streets is our prime concern we should take care of ourselves and stay safe from any danger to avoid injury we should follow some simple safety rules so let's find out what are the safety rules that we have to follow at home at school in the playground and on the road in detail first is safety at home here are some safety rules that you should follow at home first do not leave your toys bags and shoes on the floor someone could trip over them so keep things at their proper places be it your toys school bag shoes or anything which you have used keep it at its proper place once the work is done second do not play with sharp objects like knives and scissors you can hurt yourself so children should never play with sharp objects like knives and scissors they can hurt themselves third stay away from hot objects you could burn yourself so children should never touch or be near hot objects fourth do not touch electrical gadgets or switches with wet hand children water is a good conductor of electricity it means electrical currents can easily pass through water so that is the reason why we should not touch electrical switches gadgets with wet hands as we might get electrical shock next is safety at school if you behave yourself and follow instructions you can avoid accidents at school so what are the safety rules that we have to follow at school do not hit anyone or throw things at others do not climb on desk do not push anyone and do not run in the corridors or stairs children we all should behave ourselves and exhibit good manners wherever we go we should follow the instructions given by our teachers and should not do any such thing because of which we unknowingly end up hurting somebody so children these are the simple rules which we have to follow at school next is in the playground follow the rules of the game you play wait for your turn do not push or hit anyone so these two points you have to keep in mind while playing in the park next is safety rules to be followed on the road walk on the footpath or on the safe side of the road second cross the road at the zebra crossing before crossing look to your right and then left and then right again cross the road when it is clear or when the traffic stops third do not put your head or arm out of a moving bus so these are the safety rules we have to keep in mind while we are on the road next is first aid after an accident the first help that an injured person gets is called first aid if one of your friend gets hurt you need to give first aid before an adult can reach you so children first aid is the first help which is provided to an injured person let's see the steps which we should follow if somebody gets injured first keep calm do not crowd around the injured person so we should not panic if somebody gets hurt and we should not make crowd around the person who has got injured we should call a doctor or an adult we should clean the wound with an antiseptic lotion like detol savlon next comfort your injured friend so we should tell him that nothing has happened no serious thing has happened don't worry everything will be okay so we should comfort our injured friend make the injured person sit or lie down keep the wounded part of the body raised so children we should make him sit or lie down and the wounded part should be little raised so that the blood flow stops now let's see what is given here in the did you know box for the vehicles green light says go red light says stop amber light says wait or drive ahead carefully so children whenever we are going somewhere on the road in our vehicle be it a bike scooty car we should always follow traffic rules so children in this way the reading and explanation of this chapter is done let's move on to exercises question number a take the correct answers so for every question three options are given we have to take the correct option first one which one of these colors on the traffic signal signals you to stop so we all know it is red color red color tells us to stop second why should you not fly kites on the terrace you may get burnt you may fall ill you may fall off so the answer is we may fall off so we will take the third option third question 
which of these should be used by children only in the presence of an adult matchbox knife all of these so knife and matchbox both the things should be used only in the presence of an adult fourth which of these will you use on a minor burn hot water cold water warm water so children in case of minor burn we should always put the affected area in the cold water so here we will take the cold water question number b fill in the blanks first question we should not touch dash switches with our wet hands so we should not touch electrical switches with our wet hands why because water is a good conductor of electricity and we might get shock second we should dash for our turn while playing on the swings so we should wait for our turns while playing on the swings third we should cross the road at the dash crossing so we should cross the road at zebra crossing fourth we should not play with dash objects so we should not play with sharp objects question number c write two examples for each of the following so here we have to give two two examples first sharp objects that can cause injury knife and scissors children we always write scissors s c i s s o r s we never write scissor it is a pair of scissors so you have to write the correct spelling of scissors second colors of the traffic light here i have written red green third example of junk food so you can write any example of junk food here i have written burger and chips you can also include toffee chocolate anything whatever you feel is junk question number d give short answers to the following questions question number 1 what can we do to avoid injury answer to avoid injury we should follow some simple safety rules question number 2 what is first aid answer after an accident the first help that an injured person gets is called first aid question number 3 what should we do to stay healthy answer we must follow some rules to stay healthy eat healthy food do exercise take enough rest maintain hygiene question number e answer the following questions question number 1 describe any three rules of safety to be followed in school so the three rules to be followed in the school are do not hit or push anyone do not climb on desk do not run in the corridors do not throw things at others question number 2 describe how exercise helps us to be fit answer regular exercise keeps us fit active and healthy it makes our body strong and improves our muscle strength question number 3 why is cleanliness necessary to maintain health answer cleanliness is necessary to maintain health because if we do not keep our body clean germs will enter our body and make us sick next is hots question number 1 children play cricket on the road is it right to do that answer It's not right to play cricket on the road because there are vehicles which move on the road and can harm the children. It can lead to loss of life or major injuries. Question number 2. Rahul likes to eat burger and pizza every day and does not relish vegetables and fruits. Is it right? Answer. It's not right to eat burger and pizza every day because they are junk food and are not good for health. Rahul should include lots of vegetables and fruits in his daily diet so that he gets all the nutrients that help him to grow and fight against the diseases so children it's not right to eat junk food at all try to avoid them as far as possible next is let's do make a first aid box and keep it at a reachable place at home draw a red cross mark on it so children here we have to make a first aid box You can make a first aid box using a shoe box. This is a sample for all of you. You can keep cotton, band-aid, antiseptic lotion, thermometer to check the temperature, a pair of scissors, antiseptic wipes. You can include other things also after consulting your parents. Children, you must keep this first aid box at a reachable place so that in need it can be found out. Next is life skill. Be kind and helpful. Whenever you see anyone injured, 
do not hesitate to help that person or animal your kindness may save somebody's life so children we should be kind and helpful towards others if we see that somebody has got injured we should not hesitate in helping that person we should always be proactive in helping them so children in this way this chapter is complete in case you have any doubt regarding the understanding of any particular concept meaning of any particular sentence or word put your query in the comment box i'll try to answer it as soon as possible all the best children